channel Chicken 101 for our Sustainable Food Center segment today. I have butcher extraordinaire Julia Poplowski, also a farmer uh, over at, where are you now? Boggy Creek. Boggy Creek Farm, joining us this morning to talk a little bit about how you would want to prep a chicken um, when you're getting ready to cook it. We have a, we have a giant chicken. We do. We have this morning. <laughs> I mean, that looks more like a turkey. It, it is. It does look like a small turkey, but it is a chicken. We picked it up at the um, SFC market on Wednesday evenings at the Triangle. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for a big bird, head right. that direction. Yeah, that's <laughs> plenty to feed the whole family and for leftovers too. So, I mean, how would you even go about doing that? You've, you've got this big chicken. Yeah. What do you do first? So there's so many different ways to prepare a chicken. Mm -hmm. um, we can break it in pieces. What I'm going to show today is just how to spatch cock a chicken, which okay. is my most favorite way to cook a whole bird. So I don't know. This guy just seems like it would be something really fun to brine overnight and splay out yeah. on your grill just because of the sheer size. So um, that's what that means. Spatch cocking the chicken is then when it would be kind of you laying, laying flat. it flat. Okay. Yeah. So cool. first, um, I'm using a paring knife, but to be safe, it would be awesome to also use some kitchen shears. Mm -hmm. um, mine are getting sharpened right now, so I don't have Probably them. Probably a little easier, especially for people that maybe don't have as much strength maybe right. to use the knife or, or yeah. experience, I yeah, guess. Exactly. So the first way I like to do it is have the breast facing away from you, mm -hmm. and you're just going to tuck it up and have the tailbone facing you. And then with your knife, you will just go through, and you're going to make cuts right along the spine. Okay, so on, on either side yes. of the spine, down the back. you'll go look on the other side. And I kind of had done it right before we started just to get us ahead of the game. And you're just mm -hmm. going to follow the line of the spine all the way back. And okay. you will pull this out, put it in your freezer. It will be go. an amazing stock later. Oh, yeah. So a huge part of what I want to get with the goal of uh, the whole butchery class mm -hmm. for, with chickens is just to get people used to using the whole animal. Yeah, I know that's something that you're really passionate about. Yes. And just spreading awareness that you can use all parts exactly. of the animal for different things. And then you're simply just going to pop it open. Wow. And you're going to pop open that breastbone. That's what you're looking okay. for. And you can even so take there. a knife and you can score it right along just so you make sure you get that nice flat and okay. then what you'll do is now you have this perfectly oh, wow. flattened chicken mm -hmm. and um, this way when you're cooking it my favorite tuck the wings under maybe look like it's sunbathing that's what I always <laughs> say <laughs> I like that. but um, oops so the great thing about spatchcock he doesn't want to do it that's okay is that you've got the whole all the skin is exposed so mm -hmm. you really get that nice crispy skin that sometimes whenever you're cooking a whole chicken that backside doesn't get as crispy yeah. as the rest um, and then you have the most perfect piece to save up and make stock mm -hmm. with um, so then how would you go about cooking this I would throw it in the grill if you don't have a grill and just put um, it on there like that yeah put it on there like that you can even put some veggies underneath mm -hmm. I like I don't have a grill per se, but I use my oven, and so yeah. I'll put a lot of onions underneath. Sometimes I'll do some whole cloves of garlic, mm -hmm. uh, slices of lemon right underneath the bird, put it in the oven. This guy's pretty big, but probably for the normal chicken size you'd be buying. Um, put it in there at about 450 degrees for about 50 minutes, okay. and then just let it go. Usually that comes up perfect for me. You'll check Great. the thickest part of the breast to make sure the temperature reads 165. Mm -hmm. And then you've got an awesome roasted chicken. Yes. So again, you've got a class coming up that you're going to be teaching at Sustainable Food Center so mm -hmm. people can learn so much more about this. Julia, thanks so much yeah, for coming in. Yeah, of course. In.